Welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for being here today. Look at this gorgeous dandelion. It looks like it has been cast in glass. This is resin. I can't wait to bring you guys this video. We're using a couple new products, so let's get right into it. And then we have an 80 millimeter base that goes with these to make this a little LED light like you saw in the beginning. I'll show you some more video of it later in this video. I did make two of these, one with the white dandelion. That's the one we're gonna be working on here. And I did another one with a multicolored dandelion that I'm actually going to do a little video for my patrons on. That was my very first time casting something that deep and the resin was a little tricky. So I learned a lot of things and I wanna share that with my patrons over there. If you want to support my channel more and want to consider becoming a patron, there is information down in the video's description. I am going to be using Liquid Diamonds Epoxy in this video, which you can get at the Epoxy Resin Store. I do have a discount code for them if you want to check out the video description. Everything that I use is going to be in the video description, including discount codes. I'm just going to fill this up a little bit. I, I would say I was trying to achieve a third of the way full. And liquid diamonds is a two to one ratio. Its viscosity is like water. It's very, very, very thin. It mixes beautifully, very low bubbles, but I am going to put it into my vacuum chamber here and you guys can see how the bubbles come out. The nice thing about the vacuum chamber is you can put little pieces like this in there. Usually I just put my cup of resin in the vacuum chamber, but we're gonna put this whole bulb in there. You'll see here in a second. While I have the bulb in the chamber getting all the bubbles out, I'm going to open up my dandelion and take a look at what we have here. If you purchase this from my store, it is gonna come in this little package here. It's in this plastic cup suspended so that none of the little, uh, what are they called? They're not petals, what are, the, what are they called? Okay, somebody comment and let me know what each of the little things are called that blow off of these dandelions. But it's suspended in here so that none of those get bumped off. You have a perfectly round dandelion head here with a little bit of stem. As I work my way to get this off here very gently, just using some scissors, of course wearing gloves so none of the oils from my hand get on the flower. And we're just gonna work this gently off here. Okay, so as you can see, it's in this stem here which wraps around the base so you have a nice long stem to work with. And just be very gentle with these so that you can keep the stem and the flower head nicely in place. We're just gonna loosen it here, straighten it out. I'm gonna push from the bottom to push the flower up and out. And we're not gonna, we're gonna cut the stem off, so don't worry about if it, that gets a little bit uh, messed up or it's not perfect, because I am gonna choose to cut that off here and you'll see how I do this. If you do resin artwork, you probably have about a bajillion of these popsicle sticks. So we're just gonna take part of the stem here, wrap it around. There is a wire in that stem, as you can see. So it makes it really nice and sturdy. And we're just gonna wrap this around very gently so that it's suspended like this. And then it's gonna hang like that in the bulb so that we can cast it in there. And I actually saw Tish from Naptime Creations do this with a rose that she was working with. And then when I got these dandelions and I was so glad to see that it had a nice long stem like this so that you can wrap it. Sorry, my head's in the way. I'm really trying to get this dandelion right in the center of the bulb here. And there's my blonde head. Okay, got my head out of the way. Okay, so here, I just wanna show you, it is suspended in there now. It is just barely, the top of the head of the flower is just barely touching that first layer of resin that I did. We're gonna let it cure like this. I've waited about five hours and I'm gonna pour in the second layer. So the dandelion is now pretty sturdy where it is because just the top of it, remember, was casting in that first layer of resin as we had it suspended here. 
So I'm gonna work my way around and I have already put this resin into my vacuum chamber. So you can see it's like water. There are virtually no bubbles in this whatsoever. Like I said, liquid diamonds is pretty bubble free as it is, um, but I really just wanted to put this in my vacuum chamber and see how it would work and it was magnificent. I'm not pouring directly onto the head of the dandelion. I'm trying to go around, which is sort of tricky because the stick is in my way. The opening here to the bulb is not very big. I am trying to go out and around the dandelion head, not pouring directly on it. So that as the resin goes in, it's sort of self-leveling and going right up to that dandelion on its own, pushing its way in to those individual petals or whatever we're going to call them because I still don't know <laughs> what the name of those things are. I need you guys to comment in the comments what they're called. I'm just going to keep pouring like that until I use all of my resin. For my last layer of resin, I'm going to want this stick out of my way. So I'm taking my crafting nippers that you see me use in literally almost every video of mine and I just got right in there at the base there and trimmed it right off. And here's our last layer. fill this all the way to the top because that lip there is going to act as a base for you to set this bulb on your LED light stand or your desk or wherever you're going to set this bulb. So you want to fill it all the way to the top. I'm going to show you here a side view so you can see how full this is. See how full that is? I'll give it a little squeeze so you can see it. See? See? Almost all the way to the top. I left a little little tiny spot there. Okay. Disclaimer, please, you know, I tried to make this look pretty. I had my nails done. I'm like, ooh, let me demold this beautiful piece with my bare hands. Yeah, doing this right here, cut my thumb. Cut my thumb because there was a piece of resin. It was sharp. Legitimately cut my thumb, sliced the pad of my thumb, and I had a cut on it for it just finally healed. It was like a week and a half and had a Band-Aid on it for a week and a half. It was the biggest pain. Look, see there, I see I cut myself. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should get some gloves on and not try to be all cute about this all the time. <laughs> I know, we all try to be cute. We want the pretty video. We want the pretty pictures. I love to have my nails done when I do this stuff for you guys. I want my nails to look nice. And then sometimes I sustain an injury and it backfires on me. So I do end up putting my gloves on here because it was really painful trying to get this thing out. But what I'm doing here, let's, let's get back to what matters here is I'm just loosening this around the edge, sliding my finger in gently. I want to try to peel this mold back. <laughs> here we go. You just kind of almost want to get your finger underneath the top of it as you're going around gently, gently sliding it down. I know it doesn't look gently. I promise it. There's blood on there. Okay. So let's, oh, okie dokie. <laughs> Popped right out. <laughs> Look at how, okay, so there, I put gloves on because I didn't want my fingerprints getting all over the beautiful piece, but look at that. Oh my gosh, it's like perfectly suspended in there, totally glass-like. Here's that one again that I did, I'm going to talk to my patrons about. I put a little bit of urban glitter in there. I was trying to get this in the sun and we just kept having overcast days, so it was really hard for me to get a good video, but you can kind of see the urban glitter in there. Again, if you want more info on that, please consider becoming a patron and we'll talk about this piece over there for my patrons. And then let's get a beautiful view of this one again. There it is. Oh my goodness. And look at how much bigger now that dandelion looks in there. It magnified it. It looks like a giant, beautiful dandelion head, perfectly intact, no bubbles at all, simply gorgeous. And here it is. I just wanted to show you on the little light stand. We'll turn the light on. I'll focus it here in a second. This I think would be so cute in like a little kid's room or as a nightlight or I mean, it's just adorable. I think these would make awesome gifts. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com to check out the molds, the dandelions and the LED light stand. I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It's totally free for you and it really helps me out. I love you guys so much. Until next time, everybody. Keep on pouring.